from my fantastic trip away. Oh my God, it was amazing. Seriously, amazing, okay? I, I can't believe how fast it went and I cannot believe that when me and Monica thought about what we'd done, we couldn't remember much, right? Because it just went so quick. But when we looked at our photos, because that's the best way to do it, there was so freaking much that we had done. It is unbelievable how much we did in those eight days. But I've got to say, apart from going on a boat in Central Park and me and Monica being an absolute idiot, watching somebody fall into the water and everything, it was hilarious, the boat tipped over and everything. They were fine, they were giggling about it afterwards. But uh, it was the Harry Potter shop hands down it was the Harry Potter shop the one thing I loved about the Harry Potter shop is that yes there are items there you can't buy and yes for people who can't get to New York that is very frustrating however I would rather go all the way to the other side of the world to New York City to the Harry Potter shop to walk into a Harry Potter shop and find that there is so much that isn't for sale anywhere else and it feels like you've gone there for a reason so not only was it an amazing place to visit it was just brilliant. So I've got two bags to show with, to show you. First of all, I'm going to show you my wand. Now this is my first New York item that I bought when the shop first opened because you cannot get this wand anywhere except in the New York store. It is exclusive to the New York store. It is absolutely incredible. Now, there are places on eBay that you can get it. You are paying more for your money. That's the only problem. You are paying more for the item, shall I say. But I've got to be honest, if I couldn't get, when I couldn't get to the New York shop when it first opened, I went straight to eBay and I bought one. I think I paid $75 for this, which obviously is overpriced, you know, for the item. I think that's double the price, um, including shipping and things like that but it was $39 in the New York shop and I did pick up one and I will tell you why. When I did an event last year for Warner Brothers, there was a little girl, three years, I think she's about three, two or three years old. She was so cute. She was there with her mum and she didn't have a wand. And so I lent her this wand to do her photos and everything. She was like doing press and she was like swinging and she was the cutest thing in the world. She was so dinky. Um, she was swinging and she dropped it. Now the only thing is they did say, if anything happens, let us know and we'll replace it. But she's only three you know she was only freaking three and so she was enjoying herself so I didn't mind and um, so there is a tiny bit that is missing from there as you can see compared to the other side so that was all that happened and I didn't actually notice until I went home so I was okay with that but I did buy a replacement so I'm going to put it back I would say before I break it but it's already been broken so as you know I have two bags of goodies to share with you now one you already know I have because you've seen it in so many of my photos that bag uh, i walked into the shop right and we went into we were waiting to do the virtual reality experience where you have to meet the people to like sign in and things because you can't just go on you got to book it all online and where we went um as we were stood by the gargoyle that's hers the stairs going down there was this beautiful balcony and each part of the balcony was a different wand it was very cleverly done but to the right of me well there was these beautiful Danielle and Nicole and Warner Brothers bags. And of course, the, that bag, you saw the bag, I will show you. It just jumped out at me because I am a huge Harry Potter fan and a big Disney fan. Not as big as Harry Potter, but I am a big Disney fan. And I just felt that that bag brought the two worlds together. And do you know what, right? The amount of people who have asked me where that bag is from is unbelievable. Not even Harry Potter fans. A lot of them were Disney. They kept asking me where the bag was from. And you can get it on online it's a little bit cheaper online actually but it was the whole experience of buying it in the store so I did get it but we we're going to show that at the end right so the first things I'm going to show you because I guess my goal was to spend I had a budget of $400 um well sorry 300 pound that was my budget 300 pound and we went to the we went to the checkouts you can use your Wizarding World discount there, which is brilliant, just on the purchases. So like tax and everything, you don't get a discount on the tax. But it was lovely that you could get that discount. And of course, then the dollar to cook to pound conversion, I ended up spending three pound, 303 pound. That was it, 303 pound. So because I sold all those things on eBay, that was obviously one of the main reasons why I did it. So I was really proud of myself. I did that, 
I kept to my budget and it, mean, it meant I had a lot of money left over then for our holiday because I still had to pay for food, transport and things like that. So I was very proud, £303 in total. I think came to just under $400 in total and then minus tax, sorry, minus the discount and then the conversion and everything, it was fine. I have got a few items that I'm gonna do as a giveaway. I'm not gonna do it yet, I'll probably announce it on my Instagram. If you haven't gone to my Instagram, then this is my Instagram handle. I will announce it on my channel as well because I know a few people don't have Instagram. Don't panic if you don't, it's okay. Um, I will explain that later on. So they're these, this one specifically I think is actually available in the Warner Brothers studios it is a stunning tote bag of the magical scene where the students go across the lake and they see Hogwarts they and us see Hogwarts for the first time so that I had to get that I think that is absolutely beautiful it turned out it was I think it was three was it four dollars it was about three pound twenty I think so that's not too bad for a tote bag I think it's really lovely and I do love my tote bags so I did have to get this one. It's absolutely beautiful. So that went straight into the shopping bag. I would say my shopping bag, but bless Monica, because I was filming, she actually had both shopping bags, mine and hers. Now I did love this symbol they've got for the Harry Potter shop. This is like the new kind of, it's like a, it's, it's on a lot of the purchases at the moment and you can find it when you get items from the Warner Brothers Studios, like Harry Potter Online, things like that. It does have this symbol on it. And I do love how it's not a house elf. It's a freaking Niffler. Ah! My inner Niffler was freaking screaming at the shop, I tell you. It was just going nuts. And I love this new symbol with the, the lightning bolt, the golden snitch, the Deathly Hallows and a Niffler as well because they are just the cutest thing in the world. And then on the back, because you can't get this anywhere else. It is obviously Wizarding World Harry Potter New York, the official store at 935 Broadway. It's not actually far from The Cursed Child, so I was really impressed with that. It's actually next to, for those John Wick fans, because my family are huge John Wick fans, it's actually, the block is actually attached to the flat iron building that they use for the John Wick Hotel in John Wick. So it was really cool to see that. It was covered in scaffolding. But it was really cool to see it. and I had a photograph in front of it, of course, you know, who doesn't? But I loved that it was attached to that building. So that was the obviously the gorgeous tote bag that is only available there. I know a lot of you are obviously very disappointed that there's a lot of stuff you can't get online. But as I said to you, as a fan, I would have been devastated if I'd have gone all the way to the other side of the world to find that like 95% of those items I could buy in the Warner Brothers studio or online here. I'd be devastated because even though the, the shop is an amazing experience, it was beautiful to go there and know that I could only get those items there. I was lucky enough. I couldn't have gone on my own. There's no way I could have done it. Monica Blesser giving it to me as a gift was like the best thing ever. And so I was able to obviously go there, but I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. So as I said, I did buy the Harry Potter Golden Snitch Wand replacement. And it says there, obviously, the Golden Snitch. So, you know, it's a beautiful wand. Monica checked it, bless her. You could tell she worked at the tour. She checked it all before I bought it. And they checked it for me as well, but it was nice for Mon to check it. She was so patient with me. Um, so this is the box. Now I'm gonna be keeping mine in the box and the other one is gonna stay on display on my shelf because it's only that tiny piece missing. I might even paint the end or something just to hide it. So you get a little card explaining about it. And then obviously we open the box then to reveal the beautiful um, wand inside. So this wand is absolutely stunning. It really is beautiful. And it's obviously in perfect condition. So it is just stunning. I loved it. So that was definitely going to be on my shopping list to get a replacement. I was not leaving that shop without getting a replacement. So because I'm soft um, and I can't and I love my friends so much, I couldn't go to the New York shop and not get gifts for people. So even though I think, well, I hope they like them. They've got the new exclusive limited edition set now in pink and blue. The blue one is the newest one. So, but they, they do also do pins. And so I got a, hang on, let me get it looking a bit better. So I got a pink set for Janice because she loves her pink. So I got a pink set of and down the bottom it says limited edition. These were $15, which I think works out about 12 pounds something. It's not too bad for four pins. So I got those. And then I got for Natalie and Maria, 
I got I got blue versions as well but I also got a blue version for myself so I did get presents for people I had to I couldn't not and obviously I spent a fortune on the boys and I got loads of stuff for Adam as well so I did I I felt really guilty going you know and, and not coming back with anything when I'd I'd um, I'd missed them so much Harry cried when I came home I just oh my god I love him he's been so brave while I was away never leaving my boys for that long again and then because Janice has been my one of my best friends for so long she's put up with so much crap from me um I did pick up these which are really beautiful I think they're available at the Harry Potter shop but I loved them they're, da they're Death Eater masks slider charms these were ten dollars which I thought was really good they're by the carrot shop so I think you might be able to get them online but I really really like those so I bought them for Janice bless her and then one of these now is going to be part of a giveaway so if you'll understand why when i show you so i've got one for a giveaway and then i've got um i've got one for natalie one for janice one for maria and one for myself these um are really hard to get hold of because they're only available in the store every now and again they're not there all the time apparently and whenever my friends have gone um they seem to not have them so i asked if i could have a few extra so they did give me extra bless them so thank you very much for that um so these are the leaflets now what it is i love that the forks on the front There's a, there was a limited edition a limited edition there was an exclusive new york lounge fly bag just for the shop and it had a forks on it monica bought it i'm so glad she did because it's so beautiful but this is explore the store unlock the magic behind the story with the harry potter fan club app so what it is you go to the shop you ask for one of these um these leaflets and around the shop i do i do show you in the video so if you haven't seen the um the first new york shop uh video the harry potter video then check out the link above because over at the shop there are real props used from the films and next to the props is a key which is um i don't know if it shows you actually it's like a round kind of um loads of lines and then a key in the middle it's actually like a barcode very cleverly done and so what you do is you go to these props and you scan it with your harry potter app and this is in the um discover section you've got a little key at the top there and you just press the key and it comes up with that part there so what you do is you go around and you scan it now i won't tell you how many there are because that's part of the the, the thing you write down each letter that you find you discover in the app when you click on it down here and then you unscramble it to um to release a magical word if we like so it's a little kind of diagram of all the props in the store here which is very clever so that is what the keys look like they're so cleverly done they released them when they released this mad wisdom world magical wisdom world um can't even talk now wisdom world gold and then when you realize what the secret word is you go to the till and you get a pin a badge and this is the special badge that you get. How beautiful is that? So you only get it from the store and you can only get it if you figure out the secret word. Now I'm not going to tell you the secret word because that would be cheating. So I will keep it a secret. You have to figure it out for yourself. But I absolutely loved how they have those things. Not only have they got the two VR experiences, were fantastic by the way. Chaos at Hogwarts was seriously my favorite. It was so cleverly done and so brilliantly designed that it was like how did it work you know um wizards take flight i enjoyed but i preferred uh, it was cleverly done i must admit but i preferred chaos at hogwarts by miles not only have you got those two vr experiences you've got the entire store which is three floors of incredible magic okay um and everything is just so beautifully designed it's so clever but then you have this as well which is a scavenger hunt which is so brilliant we thoroughly enjoyed doing it monica was there with her phone taken because we didn't want to use the leaflets you don't have to use a leaflet you can use your phone and she put in the letters and then she worked out the puzzle but because uh, i'm not very good with that i'm dyslexic for a start you know it's like for goodness sake so another item that will be on the giveaway will be the butterbeer mug we actually got given free butterbeer when we went back for our private tour so lovely pam and nicole you guys are so beautiful thank you so much and pam is such a massive harry potter fan proud slytherin as well so that was brilliant i thoroughly enjoyed that thank you so much for having us for the day but then you've got obviously the butterbeer mug so you cannot have a butterbeer unless you get a souvenir cup 
Um, in the Warner Brothers studio, you can do that. You can have a plastic cup. But in the Harry in the Harry Potter shop in New York, you have to have a souvenir cup. I didn't mind. It was the whole experience. The butter beer in the New York shop is so much better than London. I'm so sorry but it blew it out of the water. The taste was so freaking creamy. It was so yummy. It didn't taste like a soda because obviously they have like a so it's like a soda in London. You can taste the soda water in it. But in New York it was so sweet and the cream was proper cream, butterbeer cream. Oh my god. It was to die for. I got it down me so fast. I absolutely loved it. So well done New York, you did a brilliant job with the butterbeer. So then we have the one of two tops, no one of three, two tops, two tops, two tops, two tops. It might have been just one or two tops, two, two three tops, oh, I can't even remember. Right, so this one was advertised, this is $65. This was advertised last year on the Wizarding World um, Instagram, probably all across the social media, but I saw it on Instagram and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I really, really hope to God that they would have it when I went to New York, obviously two weeks ago. And they did. They had a little Yule Ball section downstairs in the cellar, and uh, that's what they call it the cellar. And it is just beautiful. So on the front, you've got this gorgeous. Um, like foiled castle, Hogwarts castle in the snow. As you can see there, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that's it there. And then on the back, right, on the back, I love this so much. It's got your ball written and it's all snowy. Look at that. I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. So when they had it, I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I absolutely love this so much. So, wow, I couldn't wait to get it. As soon as I saw it, it was like, Mon, put that in my basket. It's got to be done. So I was so chuffed to finally get that top. And in Honeyduke section in the shop was really lovely. I did really enjoy the Honeyduke section. If you, if you look at one of my videos coming, I don't think I've got it in this oh no i haven't got it have i i didn't realize it was only afterwards i realized um the giant frog actually ribbits and his throat moves it's so clever so this was what was displayed there's obviously honey jukes had chocolate frogs and so on and so forth they had felix felicis liquid sweets look at that how brilliant is that I freaking love it. I don't know how much it was. I think it was about $4. It wasn't expensive. Let's see if there's a price on it. No, there's no price on it. It doesn't taste very nice, gotta be honest, because Monica bought one. She opened hers and I've left this one sealed because she wanted to try it, but she's given it to me because she didn't like it. So we only had a little bit. But how cool is that? A liquid sweet of Felix Phyllis. I love that. So we're on to bag two now. I think there's only three things in there. So the second top that I bought, because they have the limited edition colour tops there. Um, so obviously you had pink and now you have blue. The pink's still there if you like the pink. There's t-shirts, there's hats, there's cups, there's mugs, there's water bottles, there's pins. But I loved the blue. So we did have a lovely shopping spree and I did pick up the blue New York jumper. And I love how it's got the symbol down there at the bottom with the um, the Niffler, the Deathly Hallows, the Golden Snitch and obviously Harry's Lightning Bolt Scar. And it says they're exclusive to New York to the official Harry Potter store. So Wiz Wizarding World, Harry Potter, New York. So this is a size large, I think. Um, I didn't want to get an XL because I am losing weight. Can you believe I only put on half a pound when I came back? Yeah, this was $65 and on the tag it says limited edition. So once that's gone, once, once these are gone, that's it. So you won't be able to get many more. But the pink ones were advertised last year. And I'm pretty sure there's still quite a lot of them. So I think they've done enough to last a while. So obviously, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe half, uh, like next year, now like at Christmas, they'll announce a different one again. So that was really, really lovely. So I did get the sweatshirt. I did think about getting the t-shirt, but I didn't bother. I thought I've got so many t-shirts that I, I don't know what I'm doing with half of them. So I did get that. Now I bought two bags, okay, two proper bags. And I don't actually know how I managed it, but this bag was in the Honeyduke section 
on a shelf on its own where there was no label for it there was nothing saying it should have been there but it was just there turns out it was the last one in the store and i've always wanted this bag it is the honey dukes lounge fly sweet bag look at this bag isn't it absolutely gorgeous the patterns on it are to die for. Now, in the Harry Potter store, they actually do uh, sweatshirts with this pattern. But Monica said, Mum, don't get it. It looks like someone's thrown up on it. So I was like, okay, fine. Uh, so I didn't bother getting that. But I love, like, the pink and the, the teal detail. I love this, like, almost like a little kind of sweet wrapper that you pull. I love the detail of these. They did release one, I think, that was pink and blue. Or pink and green. And it was mostly pink and green. And it was beautiful but i actually really really do love this one this is the one i prefer so obviously you've got the all important harry potter lounge fly at the back there and then inside it's the stripey like confectionery kind of you know pink and white stripes so i really do love it the only thing i don't like about it is you can't get rid of the chain you can't take the chain off unfortunately so you have to have the chain on it but it's such a fun bag it's so beautiful and something I'd love to display on my Honeyduke shelf. So I had to get this was I think was $60. Yeah. So this is only $60, which I think is actually quite reasonable for a lounge fly bag. <sighs> so now then the piece of resistance of bags. <laughs> and it's not a lounge fly bag. I, I tell you, this was Monica. Monica was like, Mum, you can't stop thinking about it. That is a clear indication you need to get it. It was a lot of money. It was $110 plus tax. Um, luckily, you get discount with Wizarding World Guard, so it's fine. But I did hear later on that you can get them elsewhere. You can get them online. I will put the links down below for you. I did put the links down below on my previous video, so you can get them. However, it was the experience of getting it from the Harry Potter shop that I wanted. And when I saw this bag, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I, it, I couldn't get it out of my head. It was there, it kept being there and it kept showing up. Every time I blinked my eyes, the bag was there. And the amount of compliments I have had about this bag, even since coming home, is unbelievable. Look at that. Just look at the beauty of that bag. It is absolutely stunning. It is a backpack, but the straps are short enough. I walked like this around New York because I didn't want to have it on my back because I didn't see what was happening behind me but you can hold it like that if you want to, or even just hold it like this. But it's beautiful. And as a backpack, it was really comfortable. I know the straps are thin, but it was really comfy. But it is beautiful. I love the key detail at the front. I love that. I love the flying key detail. And the castle, this is just like, it's Hogwarts and it's Disney. It's Harry Potter and Disney in one. And I love the collaboration of those two worlds. They're never going to collaborate, but in this bag, I get the impression it did without even trying. And all the lake detail, the foiling down there, look at it. And then inside, you've got a lovely size pocket in here. And then you've got your bigger pocket in there. And you've got the pocket at the back. And it says in here, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. It says Wizarding World, Harry Potter, Daniela, Nicole. And then you have another pocket in there as well. It's just beautiful. Obviously you have the Daniela, Nicole bit at the back there as well. It is such a stunning bag for $110 plus tax. And then you have the discount or discount off the 110 and then it added tax. I just loved it. I, I had to have it. It was the kind of thing I couldn't leave that shop without one. There was no way on this earth that I was leaving without it. I love it so, so, so much. So that was my favourite buy from New York. And I have already started using it. I used it the day I got it. It was like, as soon as we got back to the hotel, cleared out my bag, cleared out this of all the packaging, and that was it. It was, in, it was on my back. It's such a beautiful bag i've never loved a bag so much before I've, i love bags but i've never loved a bag so much before there's something about this bag and i don't like pink you know i don't like pink it's freaking pink it's just it's beautiful it's like a fairy tale it's so beautiful 
You did so good, New York. You really did. Danielle and Nicole, this, you just knocked it out of the park with this bag. It's my favourite bag of all time. I love it. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what did you think of my New York Harry Potter shop haul and unbagging and shopping haul. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I'll speak to you very, very soon. My content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe